ஹாய் எவ்ரிபடி யா வெல்கம் டு ஃபிசிக்ஸ் டீச்சர் கிளாஸஸ் ஸோ அவர் டாபிக் இஸ் கைனமேட்டிக்ஸ் ரைட் நாவ் டுடே வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு டிஸ்கஸ் சம் மோர் திங்ஸ் இன் திஸ் கைனமேட்டிக்ஸ் ஸோ எஸ்டர்டே வி லேர்ன்ட் ஆக்சலரேஷன் அண்ட் ரிட்டார்டேஷன் எஸ் ஆர் நோ ஆக்சலரேஷன் அண்ட் retardation we learnt yes so let me discuss some more things on this consider an object is moving along x axis let us take this is a x axis okay so this is origin and this side is negative x axis this is positive x axis yes or no right now the object is uh, i am observing the motion of the object from x1 to x2 right i am observing the motion of the object along the positive x axis from x1 to x2 means uh, initial position and final position let us take x1 as uh, some 2 meters x2 as some um, 7 meters means i have observed from 2 meters to 7 meters the object right now now at x1 the velocity of the body is uh, let us take uh, 2 meters per second what is the velocity of the body at x1 2 meters per second and uh, at x2 the velocity of the body let us take uh, 5 meters per second understood and it has taken how much time let us take 3 seconds it has taken to move from x1 to x2 right i would like to calculate uh, acceleration of the body very good acceleration is equal to what nana change in velocity divided by time yes or no final velocity minus initial velocity divided by time here what is the final velocity 5 minus what is the initial velocity 2 as both are moving in the same direction means the velocity direction is not changing only the magnitude is changing then what is the time 3 then 5 minus 2 3 3 by 3 is 1 so acceleration of the body is how much nana 1 meter per second square got it understood very good now the body is accelerating or retardation is it accelerated motion or retardation accelerated motion okay mm. now let us see another example now consider the body is moving along a negative x axis understood this is negative x axis again i am observing the body's motion from minus x1 to minus x2 positions i start my observation at minus x1 till minus x2 so let us take x1 as a similarly minus 2 meter x2 as a minus 7 meter here the body has a velocity in the negative x direction that i am taking here minus 2 meter per second okay and at x2 the velocity of the body i am taking minus 5 meters per second understood now right to move from x1 to x2 it has taken 3 seconds time clear now what is the acceleration again acceleration is nothing but what final velocity minus initial velocity divided by time means change in velocity by time what is final velocity how much minus 5 very good minus what is initial velocity minus 2 okay divided by how much time it has taken to move from x1 to x2 3 seconds got it this is minus 5 minus into minus plus 2 by 3 how much is this Minus three by three. That is how much? Minus one meter per second square. What is the acceleration of the body? Minus one meter per second square. Now you tell me, is the body accelerating or retardation? Is this motion accelerated motion or retardation motion? We got acceleration as negative. Okay. What is the acceleration? Negative. Is this accelerated or retardation? see here it is no doubt in this it is accelerated motion this is also accelerated motion but we got minus here 
okay negative acceleration is retardation we learned it's not so when we can say the body is retarding simple manner i'll explain when can you say the body is accelerating when can you say the body is uh, retarding okay if the velocity of the body increases if the velocity of the body increases that is accelerated motion right when the velocity of the body decreases when the velocity of the body decreases then it is called retardation here you observe the velocity of the body is increasing yes or no 2 meter per second to 5 meter per second it is increasing so that it is accelerated motion then why we got minus here sir okay we got why we got negative here so this negative implies that it means that the acceleration is in the negative x direction simple okay na? so this minus implies that the acceleration is in the negative x axis this is uh, direction just this gives only the direction understood no no so in this way we can tell whether the body is uh, accelerating or retarding clear so i would like to tell one more point what is that this is important okay so always negative acceleration may or may not be retardation what is that always negative acceleration negative acceleration may or uh, may not uh, retardation understood this one remember this point okay if a body has negative acceleration means immediately we cannot say it is its motion is retardation okay sir it may or may not see this is the example for that okay we got negative acceleration can i say it is retardation no because the velocity is increasing yes or no it's not a retardation it's a accelerated motion so when can you say that anything either it is acceleration or retardation if the velocity is increasing it is accelerated motion if the velocity is decreasing it is retardation clear nana remember that point so always uh, negative acceleration means retardation it's wrong okay it may or may not be retardation depending on the situation Clear? Yes, thank you.